Well, good morning, it's Crazy Cheap Chick, and today we are gonna make the most delicious stew. It's like a mix between West African meets Asia. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. The secret ingredient is peanut butter. It's super creamy. You pour it over rice, everyone loves it. Let's get cooking. You start by baking some chicken. So I have two chicken breasts. Um, I added just a little bit of chicken broth and they're cooking in that broth. And when they're done, I'm gonna chunk them up. This is a very easy recipe. You're gonna put some olive oil in a pan and we're gonna saute some onions and garlic. I diced one onion and now I'm gonna put some garlic in, probably about a tablespoon. And it just depends on how much you like garlic. And I diced up some sweet potatoes and I'm gonna kind of half cook these. I'm not gonna cook them all the way. And then I'm gonna, I use the squeezed ginger a lot. I really like it. And I'm gonna use the rest of what's in here in this dish. It's probably a good tablespoon. I mean, I usually give it just a couple of good squeezes. The onion and garlic was all sauteed. So I went ahead and added in the ginger. I rinsed out the jar just a little bit because being cheap is all about using every last drop. And I've gone ahead to start the water for the rice because I'm here to tell you, you've been cooking rice wrong your entire life. Just put water in a pot, bring it to a boil, add in your rice and strain it like you do spaghetti. Quit trying to measure out exactly how much rice and how much water. I'm a lazy cook. I'm here to tell you, cook it and strain it. I'm gonna be using this um, brown rice and I'm just gonna pour some in, let it cook. I brought it to boiling before I added the rice and then I let it come back to a boil after I added the rice. And now I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna cover it. Now I'm gonna add a can of crushed tomatoes. Now I'm gonna add a can of chickpeas with their juice. Now we're gonna add a can of chicken broth. Rice is coming along nicely. These sweet potatoes are about half cooked and I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in there. They'll finish cooking in the skillet. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper. And some salt. Now the secret ingredient is peanut butter and I really like the honey creamy. There's about that much in there and I may add more cause I like it to taste really peanutty. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit to about two. And I've got some peanut butter in there. And I'm gonna add more. And Sparky is enjoying the peanut butter jar. How's it taste? Pretty good? Getting it all licked out. And I'm gonna add another spoonful. I mean, I added that much more again. It melts in there. That gives it such a great flavor. I'm feeding quite a few people tonight, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a second can of chickpeas, but I drained them. Rice is coming along. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of red curry paste. I'm also adding just a little bit of this tandoori masala. Not a lot, I don't want it real super spicy. Okay, I'm gonna stir it up. Man, this is gonna be delicious, I can tell. I don't know why I don't make this more often, it's so simple. So I just poured the rice in, I'm going to rinse it and then I'm gonna put it back in this pan with a little bit of butter. Tablespoon and a half. Put that in there. I'm gonna put it over here to be warm. I'm gonna throw this chicken in here. All I did was chunk it up and we're gonna mix it in. Cooking the naan 
And this stew is going to be served over the rice. And we're going to just sprinkle just a little bit of uh, cilantro on top, just for fanciness. Yeah, you get it. Those look delicious. And there's the finished product. It's my West African inspired stew. It's probably one of the most delicious dishes I make. What would you say? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to live with me though, so you have to say nice things. Well, thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. If you got anything at all out of the video, please give me a like and consider subscribing. That would mean so much to me. Have a great day.